Let's talk weapons. Stats, upgrades, and scaling. First up, stats. You can see in the center of the screen here, we have the physical attack, blood attack, arcane, fire, and bolt. This number here, the 184 next to it, that is the base damage for the weapon. This increases as you level your weapon up through 0 to plus 10. The second number, the plus number, so plus 450, the second number is based off your equipped blood gems and your weapon scaling. More on weapon scaling in a moment. Next you have quick silver bullet use, so weapons like the Holy Moonlight Sword, Rite of Palash and Simon's Bow Blade, as you can see there, all use one quick silver bullet in a transformed state. Next we have your durability, so how long your weapon will last before it breaks and needs to be repaired. It's recommended that you repair it every time you go back to the Hunter's Dream because it only costs a couple of hundred echoes. Next you have your special attack, which your first two is your slow poisoning and your rapid poisoning. This shows the stack number applied to the weapon. Dealing enough stack damage will poison the enemy providing that they can be poisoned. Then you have the damage versus kin and damage versus beast. Now this is a percentage number so 100 for me attack versus kin is I'll do 100% of my damage. Attack versus beast I have 88 so I'll do 88% of my normal damage when fighting beasts. This changes depending on what blood gems you have equipped. Next is the attribute bonus. These rank from E being the worst to S being the best. S is 101 to 110%, A is 81 to 100%, B is 61 to 80%, C is 45 to 60%, and D is 1 to 44%. Attribute requirements, what stat level you need to be able to wield the weapon. Now onto weapon scaling. The way weapon scaling is calculated, it multiplies two different percentages, one from the attribute bonus which we just discussed, and one from the corresponding stat level. Once these two have been multiplied together, it's then multiplied by your base damage level, and that will give you your scaling bonus. Each stat level corresponds to a certain percentage. So for example, stat level of 50 will give you 85%. From level 0 to 25, or the soft cap, you receive a bonus from 0 to 50%. From stat level 26 to 50, or the hard cap, you receive a bonus of 51 to 85 percent and from stat level 51 to 99 you receive the 86 to 100 percent so the scaling bonus is worked out so on my cage we've got the s rank so that's 110 percent multiplied by my blood tinge scaling bonus which at stat level 55 is 87 percent so it's 110 times 87 percent which gives you 95.7%, then multiply that by the 184, and that's my weapon. And that's how you work out your weapon scaling bonus. All weapons have arc scaling, but this doesn't go off your arc stat. This arc scaling only works when you place a fire, bolt, or arcane gem into a blood gem slot. Doing this removes all physical damage and the strength and skill scaling. Trade it out for elemental damage and arcane scaling. So this is especially useful if you're going for a high arcane build. And next, we we'll talk about upgrading weapons. Every time, each time you upgrade a weapon, your base physical attack and your attribute bonuses all increase. Each weapon can be upgraded a total of ten times to get the weapon to plus ten. From zero to plus three, it costs sixteen bloodstone shards. From four to plus six, is sixteen twin bloodstone shards. Plus seven to plus nine is sixteen blood chunks. And plus ten, you need to get your hands on a blood rock. When you upgrade your weapon to a plus one, you'll unlock your first gem slot, second gem sl blood gem slot at plus three, and you'll unlock your final blood gem slot at plus six. If you found any of this useful, don't be afraid to drop a like below. And if you missed anything out, please let me know in the comments below. This has been Weapons Explained. Thanks for watching. Peace.